In this video, I'm going to create a source page or source result page. It will be a fully custom page and also I'm going to add a source icon inside the header area. So let's navigate to our editor and I can simply change from here to single post to header. I can just click over here and as you can see, it selected the single post header. If I change it from here, it will be applicable on single post, but I'm not going to change it from here as of now. I'm going to select the template parts and then header and here you can see I have selected the header. Let's reduce the size and if you want to add a search icon, you can add here. Let's type here search and here you can see the search icon is appearing and let's see it takes a lot of space right? And let's see if is there any options to use only icon here button no button or any options for icon okay button outside and button inside and this one is use button with icon it looks like this but uh, I'm not really satisfied with the result because um, of the size of the header which is uh, not really good but what I can do I can change the header size here I can make it 1200 pixel and click save change and see if it's applicable or not globally now I have changed the header to 1200 pixel or I can make it full width but as of now for source term so basically it's not a good idea to change only the header I can make all the changes one by one here but as of now I just changed the header size to make our source form here to add the source form uh, here and uh, make it works so we can change uh, the design based on our requirements but let's use this as of now in this way but uh, forget about this responsive version as of now we can uh, move on to the source result page let's type here okay let's navigate to our blog page and uh, type something let's lorium and hit enter so currently the source result page looks like this so it doesn't uh, looks perfect it uh, looks like this and we have to make this results or search result page uh, more beautiful professional let's change our search result page let's navigate to our editor go to templates and see if is there any template created for search result page so if you type here control F or command F and type here search and here you can see display source results there is a template called display source result and we are going to change this page and here you can see it looks like this so if you want to change the source result page based on your archive page you can simply copy the uh, blog archive page design and paste it here or you can start from scratch so if I go to our search page there is a search I, uh, uh, button here, or the search options, so search field here. Let's navigate here again. And let's work on it first. Header, and here is the search result. And if I choose, it's inherit the layout. And if I go to the padding, let's make it zero everywhere. Now I have changed the padding, and I would like to add some padding top. 30 and the padding bottom 30 now it it's displaying uh, perfectly with uh, some padding top and bottom similarly so what I'm going to do at this moment I'm going to remove the query loop from here remove and then click save change and the source result page uh, should be blank here if I reload now if I go to blog page 
and I would like to copy the content from blog and I would like to make similar source result uh, like the blog archive something similar not the exact similar so what I'm going to do I am going to navigate to the toggle navigation and then templates click on home and after that let's resize the browser and select I can copy the blog from here or I can simply choose the query loop from here let's copy the query loop only the query loop I'm copying from here and go to the uh, source page again templates and navigate to the search click over here and inside the group I can take another group or I can uh, take another column here but as of now what I'm going to do I'm going to remove this one so now below the group I'm going to add another group here simply drag and drop it here and please note that I just drop it inside the footer area that's not standard so I have to take from footer to below footer but again it's uh, navigate inside the group so now as you can see it looks perfect this is our group here now inside the group take a paragraph and paste the content or the query loop that we have copy from our blog archive page and now if I click over here I can change the view so this is our source result page and the source result page should look like this and if I click on the query loop on the right side there are some other features you can change the column to two column you can add the number of posts that you would like to display here you can do a lot of not a lot of information not a lot of thing but you can do at least a few of things here that will helpful for you now if I click over here item per page you can change it to let's add uh, six items and there is no need to offset and max space to as of now and after that click save go to our search result page and reload the page so as you can see the search result page looks like this this is only inside our search result page one thing that I have to change which is when I select group change the content width to 1000 pixel to make it similar and reload the search result page again now the search result page looks like this and if I click over here or any of the post it will take us to the single post page if I go to our blog it looks like this if I type or search here anything let's add ILLUM and hit enter it take us to the search result page now you can add another header you can add a different header you can add different footer on search result page or any other page so I will show you later on in another video but this is all for the search result page